Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. In this video, we're gonna be using the We're All In This Together. It is a free download at shop.catherinepuller.com and it's really great to create encouraging cards for friends and family or any uh, first responder or anybody who's working on the front lines with this COVID-19 pandemic. Here are a few cards that I've created on some Facebook Lives recently, and I wanted to create some more here um, on the YouTube channel with you guys as well. So when you download this from our shop, it is a free item, so you don't get charged. You do have to check out in the shop, and you can just check out with one, download it to your computer, and print it out as many times as you want. First one that I printed here is at 100%, and then I printed out another one at 75%, and then another one at 50%. So you can print it out at different sizes and use it on your cards as a really great sentiment. So the first one I did was the 100% size, and I just cut cut it out, basically kind of cut that cardstock in quarters, although I cut it a little bit smaller than that. So you want your layer to be about four by five and a quarter, or three and three quarters by five, and then you'll have a nice layering piece to put onto a card front. So the first thing I'm gonna, the first card I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use the Rizzo background stamp. I'm gonna, I've been using this one a lot lately. I will add some links below in the YouTube description to the Facebook Lives I've been doing using this sentiment and also one I did using the Rizzo background stamp. So you can see more ideas on using the items that I'm using in, in this video. So I'm using Lime Ricky, Melon Ice, and Fiesta Blue. And I'm doing some ink blending here. So you can see when I ink up the stamp, there's a little bit of a line between the two colors. So one way to soften that line is to use an ink blending brush and just kind of dab it on there, just like I'm doing here. And then you'll have a nice gray, uh, gradient color look there. So I'm using my Misty stamping tool so that I can stamp it more than once if I need to. This is a very large stamp. There's a lot of area to cover with ink and because this is a handcraft not machine made sometimes it doesn't come out perfectly so the misty gives you an opportunity to stamp it a couple times and maybe make it darker work on the shading and look doesn't it look amazing so check this out i did get a little bit of lime ricky on my fiesta blue ink pad but this is a great opportunity to use it to do an ink blended background. So I'm just taking that ink pad, I'm doing direct to paper technique and just swiping it on my cardstock. And I get this cool blue green color. And then I'm gonna have to go grab my Fiesta Blue ink refill and just refill this pad and it will be good as new. So I mounted the technique piece on top of that ink blended or that direct to paper background, added a couple sequins, and I'm loving it. It's quick and easy, and it's a great card to send to anybody for a little bit of encouragement. These two card making projects were created with the Rizzo background stamp along with the coordinating dies. So there's a set of dies here for the stamp that cuts out the various layers. Again, I will link that right below in the YouTube description so you can check out the Facebook Live where I created these cards. It should not come as a surprise that I wanted to create a shaker card. So I took the Rizzo dies and lined them up on my printout to see which layer, which size layer was gonna be the best. This is the 75% printout. Um, so when I printed it out on my computer, I, on the print screen, I just put in 75% instead of 100, and it shrunk that sentiment down a little bit. So I'm die cutting through my die cut machine, and this is a Rizzo that was stamped with Samba and Coral Cabana. And then I'm going to take it and layer it up against my sentiment to see where I need to cut the paper down so that the sentiment is going to line right up with my die cut window. And then I'm gonna take some embossable window sheets and we carry these in the store. It's a pack of four and a quarter by five and a half inch pieces of acetate and they're perfect for creating shaker cards. So a little liquid glue will keep it in place and then it's time to create a barrier for all of my sequins to be able to stay inside the window there and not fall out. So I'm using foam strips from Doris. These are also in our shop. Uh, 
We sell a ton of these. So if you see them sold out, know that we are restocking. We are constantly ordering these and restocking them in the sh shop and you guys sell them out as soon as they come in. So we're working on it. <laughs> but just layer this all the way around so that there's no place for those sequins to escape. And you notice I went a little foam tape crazy because I want the top layer to lay flat and not get squished. So I have been kind of creating my own sequin mixes lately. I adore our sequin mixes, but I've been having fun taking multiple sequin mixes and mixing them together. So this one has a lot of the Charleston mix. It's the has the pink and blue and some melanized sequins in there. And then I just layer my top piece right over that sentiment piece. And just like that, I've got a really fun shaker card. I'll add some Nouveau Liquid Adhesive to the back, add it to a card front, and I'm all set. For the final card, we're going to use the sentiment that was printed at 50%. I love this printable because you can get the different sizes, so you can create so many different looking cards with one sentiment depending on the size you print it at. So I'm using the Melon Ice ink pad on this Rizzo background stamp, and I'm just stamping it a couple times to get a nice dark full impression. And then I want to create a frame to go over the sentiment. So I'm taking my icing on the cake ink pad using the direct to paper technique to get, create some brown cardstock. And then I'm going to die cut our chalkboard frames. So when you die cut this, you'll notice there are embossed lines that show up and it gives you the look of a little chalkboard frame. If you are die cutting and you don't get a deep impression, as deep enough impression as you want, run it back and forth through your die cut machine several times. You might also want to use a little shim and that will deepen those embossed lines on your frame. It looks so cute. So the stamped and die cut Samba Rizzo piece that I had left after the, the shaker card I thought would be really cute on this card. And we'll add that to the card in a second, but I wanted to work on the layer that will be on top of the card base. So I used the Geo Trio stencil. I taped off parts so I could just use this chevron. And I used the Nebula Stickles Glitter Gel. I'll add a link again to that Facebook Live video where I showed all the new Stickles Glitter Gels. They're fantastic. If we are sold out in the shop, we are restocking. We're just waiting for our shipment. But I thought that would be a fun layer. And then I took the red or the Samba die cut piece and I thought well if I kind of layer line this up with the melon ice piece inside the frame it would look just like a continuation and I thought that would be a really fun effect. So I just adhered that behind and then used some liquid glue to adhere this whole technique piece main focus element on the card and I'm done. So here's a close-up look. I love all the little elements going on here. And of course, I had to add some Crater League sequins to polish it off. How much do you love those little stars that are in that glitter gel? So lots of great ideas using our free We're All In This Together download. I will link below to our shop where you can find this. Go ahead, head over there now, download it, print it out, and start making cards to send to friends and family. Hope you enjoyed these ideas. I enjoy creating these cards for you. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you on the next video.